Hey guys, Girl Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Rick. I'm Calvin. Aaron. And we are back, we're a little late with this one, but we were back with the House of the Dragon we were on vacation. trailer. We were on vacation. <laughs> um, and we've been on vacation from our Game of Thrones fandom for a long time since uh, that show ended. Now we're back with House of the Dragon to see if it can uh, bring us back. Indeed. Yeah. You guys excited for this at all? Or I don't know. Wary? Are you like interested? I've or you're just burned. like we'll see? Or so I am. I'm coming into this cautious. Yeah. But also very hopeful. Yeah, me too. Um, I mean, the best thing would be if it also adds. I mean, in any of the Game of Thrones stuff, if it could add to like what they did in the other shows to help some of that kind of stuff might work. But I, I don't love know. a comeback story. Yeah, I don't know that's too. what we'll get. We'll see. I think the best of Game of Thrones was whenever uh, those sp specific showrunners were using material that they had from George R. R. Martin, and then once they kind of caught up with them and veered off on their own, it wasn't like it wasn't the same. Uh, this sure. is based off Fire and Blood, which is from George R. R. Martin. He's also involved with the show, and it's done. So <laughs> all that material was there. I'm sure they're going to expand upon it, but all that material was there. I've read uh, Fire and Blood, but it's been a while, so I'm not completely all up in the mythology. But so I'm excited all for the show. It. Yeah, I'm kind of wondering, like, should I read it again just to be ready for it, or should I just go in? And let it happen. I don't know. I would reread it so I'm not like half remembering. Yeah. I feel like half remembering is the worst. That thing can be the worst. Yeah. Sure. We'll mess I just up. won't read it, so I will zero remember it. It's a good plan. Yeah. All right. Well, let's check out this trailer. War is a foot. Never changes. War is a foot, Rick. It's a foot. All right. All right, Sherlock. Put it down. The tree. Was clearer than a memory. And I heard the sound of thundering arms, splintering shields, and ringing swords. Dragonite. I really like that armor. And I placed my air upon the iron throne. I and all the dragons roared as one. That's cool. Yep. I consider the matter urgent. That of your succession. But who else would have a claim? The oh, man. <laughs> No queen has ever sat the Iron Throne. Huh. The king has an heir, Daemon Targaryen. I will not be made to choose between my brother and my daughter. Ah. I like the music. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out. You are the king. Your duty is to take a new wife. I have decided to name a new heir. I'm your heir. War is afoot. I am French. Which realm will ever accept me as their queen? A woman would not inherit the Iron Throne. Because that is the order of things. When I'm queen, I will create a new order. And they're riding it. Yep. Targaryens. The has dragons. Should never have trifled with. Ooh. Big dragon. Yep. So much dragons. If Rhaenyra comes into power, she can cut off any challenge to her succession. I am to inherit the Iron Throne. She will block my way. Our hearts remain as one. Oh, our hearts are never one. You can never imagine yourself on the Iron. Where is duty? Where is sacrifice? Now they see you as you are. All right, August twenty first. <clears throat> Choose your plan. Whew, man. Interesting. It's been so Interesting long. details in there too. Films. Yeah, I see, really like that trailer. It's a good trailer. I like the music, too. Yeah. There's not a lot of stuff that I know, so there's not a lot of things where I'm like, oh, it's that, oh, it's this, you know? But I like, like, there's lots of dragon stuff, too. Yeah. Like, I don't know how far back we are. Didn't but... get to see much of the fighting, but this stuff I saw looked really good. Dude, Matt Smith and that tiger, ty uh, that dragon armor looks so good. <laughs> the dragon knight armor looks so good. Like, that's one of the things I've always wanted to see, I've and I also wanted to see Robert Baratheon's, like, in his prime armor, too, with the the antlers is oh so cool. Mm. 
<sighs> well, that looks no. great. Um, and, like, you know, obviously it's just people being like, I want the Iron Throne, and that's what we're used to when it comes to yeah. the Game of Thrones. It but. feels like Matt Smith's character is kind of the bad guy of, like, I'm assuming it's like he's supposed to get the throne because he's the next, like, male mm-hmm. in, the, sure. in the bloodline. But yeah. he want, the king wants to give it to the daughter instead, so now there's going to be that controversy and stuff. Kind of brings to mind, like, uh, <clears throat> Daenerys' older brother, uh, Viserys, right? Viserys, Tigarian, yeah. where he was kind of, you know, in that first season of Game of Thrones. Before, well, clearly the throne's going to me. Yeah, before Cal Drogo gave him a crown. Yeah. <laughs> of sure. gold. Uh, yeah, kind of that feeling. But, whereas Viserys, we don't really know, like, the extent of his skill. Matt Smith's character, who... He's very good. Sure. And I, whenever they cast him, I was like, hmm, interesting. I've never seen him do, like, you know, we've seen him in Doctor Who and stuff like that, but this is going to be a very sword-fighting intensive role for him, so sure. I'm interested to see how he does. Yeah. I feel like ever since Definitely. Doctor Who, I just see him being, like, bad guys. Yeah. He's just always a bad guy yeah. somewhere or something. <laughs> you know, like, it's weird. Mm-hmm. Who's the, I mean, we probably don't know. There's the one guy with, like, the dreads, but they're, like, white dreads. Yeah. I was I thought was interesting. Like, yeah. Is he like? He might, uh, I don't he know. Like I mean, he the seems to be or? Targaryen family. I mean, they all have white hair. Mm-hmm. I I didn't yeah. notice any purple eye stuff that they were doing, and yeah. they, they kind of abandoned that. I just thought it was interesting him with yep. the the white dreads. And I'm like, is he like a part of the family? I mean, that he, family like, is extremely powerful, diverse. Like it splits off. There's wars with each other. You know, there's a reason. And they, you know, in the original Game of Thrones thing, like flip a coin. And see how a Targaryen turns out. They're either sure, great yeah. or they're terrible. See, it's some, of, it's some of that kind of stuff too, where I'm like, I wonder if we'll see some things that will give different context, maybe that we yeah. didn't get from the original mm-hmm. show. Yeah. Because of the way some of the ending landed, I think there's a way of doing it that could have played out a little yeah. better. But I feel like they rushed it because they were like, sure. we gotta hurry up and go do a Star Wars thing. <laughs> you yeah. know. So, but I would say because you know <laughs> it, it does leave kind of a sour taste when you think about some of the things that happened with Game of Thrones, from how big it was to how it's treated now or looked back on now. But the one thing that never changed was the extreme high quality of the production, the music, the casting, like that type of stuff, the performances, like all of that was a ten. And the writing, you know, depending on your taste, would go between eight, nine, ten, and then the, it, it kind of, and then it just kind of like petered out. <laughs> yeah. And they took what could have been three or four seasons worth of material, did in eight episodes, and we were done. You know. So, but there's this coming out. There's reports of a possible, and Rick, you're gonna be really excited by this. Jon Snow show coming, one uh, after after Game of Thrones. Oh, um, after after yeah. the events of that, okay. yeah, like Kit Harrington apparently is pushing for that and wanting to produce it. See that so, there, then make be a different context of things that yeah. happen too, because then you could have those characters actually discussing about you all kinds of stuff. And I personally would also like to see Arya again because she sailed. Yeah, you know, yeah. sure. It's just all across like to areas we've never met. That would be kind of cool too. But I guess I'm just hoping like with all this stuff and having more of the of this stuff coming out, like I think of like. Star Wars prequels and holes and stuff people didn't like or had problems yeah. with, but then there were some books that when you read them or like even watching Clone Wars and stuff, mm-hmm. just added more to where like you yeah. you felt you had more context or more information on different characters, and it kind of changes your watching experience and yeah. fills in some problems that some people have. So. I think the thing I'm going to be most interested in this mm-hmm. one is in Game of Thrones, you know, dragons, magic, all that stuff had kind of left, and then in that series it came back, right? Sure, so when yeah. a dragon appeared, it was so significant for not just for us because like, hey, dragons, those are fun, but for the characters in the show, it was. Like a dinosaur, you yeah. know? Like, it was yeah. so significant when a dragon... And we could see, like, Daenerys can wield power just with these dragons. The Targaryens, that's how they ruled everything. So, I, I just am interested to see how they're going to handle, like, the novelty of a dragon on screen. It's not necessarily the biggest thing for us anymore, because... We well, don't we, feel it with We raised characters. our own dragons, yeah. you know? Yeah. And we saw them live and die. But it's, like, in their prime, right? But this... Like, but also, these are going to be aged dragons, so they're going to be extremely large, big. Yeah, I want to see like what the warfare is like. Yeah, yeah. probably more dragons. trained. Yeah, right. I yeah. would imagine. Probably. Well, and the people fighting them. Like, yeah. how how do they approach that problem? Yeah. Is there a warfare? whole is there a whole process of fighting a dragon? Yeah. Whereas, like in the original series, because they've been gone for so long. No one really knew how to fight dragons yeah. and stuff. No one yeah. was they, really they concerned were... about advancing that technology. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm I'm interested to see that develop too. I, and I think that's one of the biggest fumbles of season eight of Game of Thrones is that they had uh, uh, 
what's the pirate's name from the Iron Islands? Euron. Euron Greyjoy. No. They had Euron and Greyjoy just like start shooting them out of the sky, and I was like, well, all right, that's not a big <laughs> deal. And then they got to King's Landing, had fifty of the same gun scorpion thing they had, and it destroyed everything. You know, like the power scaling was so off. Yeah. So yeah, you need to reclaim that dragons are war machines. They're the ultimate battlefield yeah. weapon. I mean, that's sure. what makes Targaryens scary. Uh, powerful and vulnerable is what those dragons can do for them. And I think it would be interesting if they were kind of like elephants back in the day, where yeah. if you use them incorrectly, they could be as harm for yep. you as True. they could for the others. Sure. Like yeah. that's a good way to keep mm-hmm. them. You don't want to cook your power own balanced. army or something with a fire blast. Yeah, and... sure. <clears throat> no, I get that. The egg too was interesting. I I don't know why, but in my mind, I was like, oh well, the three eggs we have in Game of Thrones are like old and they kind of look a little mm-hmm. different but these just still had like this like a same look i thought right like i was in the pot there yeah like, they didn't mm-hmm. seem to look different than what i expected them to look like i guess yeah i guess i was thinking it like still looked like aged kind of stone aged eggs would look very skin. stoned yeah. and less egg like and like a natural egg would have looked a little from what i newer, remember but, and again mm-hmm. i had to brush up on a lot of this stuff but i think eggs take a significant event to hatch it's not necessarily like waiting <clears> for them or heating them up like it took daenerys Surviving that fire and that magical event to hatch those dragons, sure. you know? and the death of Drogon. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Not Drogo. the funeral pyre, right? Drogo, Drogo. 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 Uh, Drogo yeah. yeah, how Drogo. Drogo. But yeah, uh, I'm very much interested, and I'm honestly I'm rooting for this show to do well. I'm the same thing with Rings of Power, yeah. but I want this show to reclaim what was a very magical time, like Game of Thrones. <laughs> without it. Our channel probably wouldn't be here. It was such a milestone flagship where we are now. thing there's, when that came out. There was definitely how many seasons did they have? Eight. Was it eight? eight. Yeah. I feel like there was definitely like the five, six seasons of like really being in From and every, the world. everyone yeah. was enjoying it. And I think it was, season five like it peaked in, in that way, like yeah. hard home. Like there's just so many the good, of the White good stories and things yeah. that were going on and yeah. lots of characters that everyone loved and stuff. And then things just kind of like you said, it just kind of petered out and. Just didn't land. It, it didn't kind of stick felt the like landing quite yeah. right. And yeah, it just I, kind of felt like people like they were just like, "All right, we're done now," and everybody was like, "But I don't feel done." All right, now you took it. <laughs> now you took it away. All right. <laughs> so no, I get you. It would be nice to be able to kind of reclaim that in a way, yeah. you know, Get reclaim the Iron Throne, which looks awesome in this one. So yeah. much better than the original. <laughs> actually, it was getting cut sitting on it. Yeah, they need a George Lucas like. The old series. Special edition that so yeah. that's there. Yeah, that'd be funny. <laughs> no, the only real difference between that and the images I've seen from the book is that the Iron Throne, like, literally is just on top of a pile, mountain of swords, right? Yeah. Like, this one's still relatively on the on the, the, the ground, ground level. <laughs> like, that one was like, just imagine literally, like, 100,000 swords, and we put a throne on top of them, <laughs> and they're all melted together. But this one looks a lot better than the original. Um, all right, well, that's that. Uh, it's going to be coming out here relatively August. soon, and we're going to be uh, covering that. So make sure you subscribe and you follow along with House of the Dragon and Blind Wave. You guys got anything else? No. Saw a dagger. That's about it. What? Hmm. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this reaction and discussion of the House of the Dragon trailer. Make sure you subscribe, as Eric said, because we will be reacting to this and if you want to see our thoughts on Game of Thrones, you can see our reactions to that. We have uh, actually one with me, Eric, and Calvin, and then another one when Rick caught up uh, later on. So two different series that you can check out if you haven't seen them.